All right, here we are at the CNC. Um, this is one of the uh, extrusions with the uh, the belt, which uh, is for the stepper motor. And this is how it came for doing the belt tension. So you could just loosen this, and then you could slide this in and out to adjust it. It's just a bolt. Goes through here and pinches down onto the belt. Stops the belt from moving. Um, I have noticed that sometimes this will still slide on me and belt gets loose and then my cuts don't turn out as nice. So uh, my brother was on Thingiverse and he found a couple of belt tensioners. So I'm going to open up uh, one of the packages that he gave me and uh, see if we can make this work to where this won't slide on me as much. Okay, this is my brother's little package. Oh my gosh, that just car, look at it. The car is not perfect. Just look at it. <laughs> just look at it. Yeah, well. What the heck is that? <laughs> Got a love letter. A Leaks Maker CNC Laser Belt Tensioner. Thingiverse, and there is the the number of it so if you wanted to 3d print your own you definitely could um, so it's just a picture showing it and I did go on the site for this and look at it and I didn't see anything describing how to put it on it looked like it was just pictures but hopefully we can just get it figured out and then a bunch of pieces all right so let's uh, Let's take off our old tensioner and see if we can get this thing put on. So you can see the, I don't know if you can, if I can get it right, the angle. But this has got those little teeth marks there that's going to be for the belt that I'm assuming is going to be fitting into there and judging from the picture looks like this the, the single hole is going to go towards the front of the extrusion and then on the pictures online it showed it better but it looks like the belt is kind of bent and going over that so and then inside this guy you can see the holes it looks like uh, you're supposed to drop a couple of nuts in there so I'm gonna grab my nuts and I'm gonna put them inside that what? and uh, what the I'm sure it'll go really well let's see what happens okay I'm going to use uh, two M3 nuts I'm going to ever so gently slide those into my openings these nuts <laughs> got it my nuts are going to stay in there but day 2 day 3 day 4 all right got my nuts in so now i believe we have to tip this upside down so this little notch is going to slide inside the groove here and then remember the single hole is going to be towards closest to us on this extrusion let's see if i can get this flipped over okay so that'll work and then inside the middle of this is a little which I should have probably tried to already do now, but I need to, I think, get the belt through that. There we go. Okay, so I got the belt through that, and I'm assuming I just need to bend this belt back. Take the little piece that's got the, the belt grooves onto it, and that's going to be on top like this. 
and then we'll have two bolts that'll go inside and hit the nuts that we had already put in and that part should be done and I believe we just use the existing piece that'll slide in here and the same bolt will come through and catch this so once we get this together then we can slide it to get our tension and then we can lock it in place so I'm going to use some M3 12 bolts actually no I'm gonna I think those are gonna be too long let's go with the M3 8s M3 8 bolts Okay, Let's see if I can get in there a little bit closer for you. So that's how I've got that. These are tight, so now I can just slide this back with the existing bolt through there and it should stay. So let's try that. Okay, I get it kind of snug, it'll still slide. So now I can pull this, make sure I got it tight on the stepper motor. Okay, that feels good there. Keep pulling the pressure back, and then I'm gonna tighten this down. Okay, it's not moving. Belt feels good at the tensioner, or at the stepper motor. So, there we go. That should work. Now I'm going to do the other side and see how this side of the extrusion holds up as far as uh, needing, uh, needing to tighten the belts in the future.